Okay, what's your name, please? Uh, and how long have you been on heroin? Um, 15 years. And what made you get on it? Um, basically, uh, through the lifestyle. I had to fall out, I used to be a uh, dorm. Yeah. And in Blackpool, Wigan, Liverpool. And how, how did you eventually lose your legs? Um, through a uh, deep brain thrombosis. And was that through injecting needles? Yeah, injecting. So how, how do you see your future? Where is it going to go? Or do you think you're just going to die on drugs? I think I am. Eventually? I think I am. And do you think there could have been anything done earlier on in your life to prevent you going on drugs? Like what, please? Um, basically, uh, help, help through, help through, um, help, help me get off, get off the streets. Uh, Be better detoxification yeah. programs. Yeah. 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 Uh, so you've been on, I've been a heroin addict for about 15 years. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you been in jail through all this many times? Uh, or have you evaded? <laughs> no, jail, jail, jail's been through without, without the, Actually, uh, yeah. So what what advice would you give to young kids who are going on thinking of going on heroin? Because this this is the outcome, this is the end result, which not only have you lost your legs, eventually you'll no doubt lose your life. Well I've just come from a funeral. Yeah. Um, in, um, yeah. Uh, young girl, only I've just come from a few, a few, just today, just now, I've just left. Okay, anyway, it's been nice talking to you, and there's not really much you can say in good luck because there won't be any. Okay, thanks.